Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Crawling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to go into that big uh, castle or chateau, if you will, and I think go on a date with cauliflower that's probably what's happening but first we need to go to the pokemon center because we had a very exciting episode man those fur frows were horrifying were they not oh my gosh like when i started doing this playthrough i was i even wondered like hmm fur frow seems like it's the kind of pokemon that i would never add to my team but if we catch one i bet it's not bad and i uh I stand convinced that they're not bad, but now I'm not sure I want one on the team at all. So first, what we're going to do is get out. Uh, oh, Ca Cassius is Cassius. This is like the first time we've had to. Oh, whoops. First, we want. Yes, Gorian. Gorin. Gor Gorin. Gorin. Sorry. <laughs> I know their names. God, that's so annoying. You can't. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's cool. It's fine. You move. Why there is a withdraw and deposit function when you could just do this is beyond me. But there we go. We are um, putting Tom John in the box. I think that's best for everyone. Give some time away from Tom John, who has just like alienated himself a little bit at this point. It has to be said. I mean. Now that, I mean, so frankly, I'll give you a quick team update whilst we're in the box here. Um, so Matt's, interestingly, the addition of light screen and supersonic to his repertoire has been hilarious. Uh, it has, like, changed his whole person. He is just setting them up willy-nilly. They're, like, invisible little screens, and everyone else is just running around running into them and he thinks it's so funny everyone except of course axe who is as ever a statue during downtime um but yeah the other three halt tarth and chloeo all ju it's just it's so funny it's so funny um and i would say other than that it's weird because he like he's like pulling these little pranks but no one's like getting mad you know uh, hilariously axe although I, he is a statue i've seen him smirk he definitely is in on this. He thinks it is. He thinks it's pretty funny. So everyone's just sort of like on their toes at camp. Just oh wait, mm, am I gonna? Is there a reflect? Uh, look out! So the other the other good thing that has happened is that after that insane battle against the fur frows, is that Chloeo and Halt formed a bit of a bond. You don't go through a battle like that without some significant bond. And like they really had to lean on each other. Axe was able to just, you know, chill watch um i think you know it, it was he very badly wanted to help but there was really no room for switches or anything like that and uh, of course once once halt won the respect of chloe well then tarth of course followed suit and everyone likes axe so that's good uh it'll be interesting to see how uh goyron affects the uh team dynamic if at all all right but without any further ado let's go ahead and uh go back to the castle or chateau if you will do, 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 do. Team up, Deku. I guess maybe should we put Goyrin at the front? I want to train. I feel like Tarth and Mats. I both want. I want them both level eighteen. I think they both evolved there, and they're both so close. And Goyrin now is so. Do we got to get some levels on you? Everyone, do we not go to? Do we not actually heal? Hold on. We should heal before we go. <laughs> that would be no good. There we go. Hello. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'll take your Pokemon. Do, 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 do. Hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you something else we can do is uh, throw some berries on some pokes. Because I think we have a few now. And there's really no reason not to. We have them. Yes. Uh, you. Go ahead. Have one. Uh, give. Halt. Have a berry. Give and uh, let's go ahead and let's we'll, we'll give our, our our big three so to speak the the pet those at the moment um, can recover from poison I mean I, I certainly don't mind if you recover from poison all right there we go everyone's got a berry except for Goyrin because we don't really know what I don't, I don't feel like Goyrin's gonna be doing a ton of battling just yet but there we go hooray who knows? A single berry could be the difference between life and death. It saves us a little bit of healing. 
sometimes they use it and then it's like well that didn't make any difference we still have to heal because we're gonna die but hopefully that's not gonna be the case today let's go pick up the pace dude anyway let's go into the chateau no, I have a monocle. Oh, hello, cauliflower. The entrance fee will be $1,000 per person. $1,000? You see, the owner of the palace follows a school of thought. You could never have too much money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you for, uh... Do I have to pay it? No. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> In which the game just takes money from you. I bet if... I wonder, what if you don't have it? What if you just spent it all? I bet they'd be like, well, it's okay. I'll let you in anyway this time. <laughs> I bet that's what would happen. But instead, they just steal your funds, your precious, precious Nuzlocke funds. And I'll never get it back. Can I leave the path? There's this whole big courtyard. All I can do is... Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. Into the castle with us. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur frown. For you. I thought it was for us. I, I am not satisfied. Oh! Almost forgot. The poke flute. Right, we're on a mission, okay? Okay? The poke flute, huh? Go get it. Boy. Le Sai. Jeez. It was Shabba Nubba castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Wow. You're the worst. Give it to them. Here's the poke flute. Mm-hmm. Great. Super cool. Super cool. Listen well, you two. Always your turn what you borrow. That's very important. So, I'm gonna keep this just permanently. How about that? How about that? That's my thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Protect! That's the, I mean, it's not the worst thing. That might be... That might not be bad for halt, I wonder. With, like, leech seed, you know? Like, just pff, wait a turn. Get a little health back. Let that poison damage sink in. Mm-hmm. Although, what will we get rid of? We don't have to get rid of, like, sleep powder, I guess. I don't know about that. All right. My goodness. What an errand this has been. I don't like errands that don't involve battles. At least most of the missions in these games typically are like, Oh, you got to battle your way through Team Rocket or Team Flare or what their butts. But this is just like... Go trap a dog in a maze and then watch fireworks in the middle of the day. Woo, cool, fun. Let's head down this side of the path. See what we got. Okay, okay. Ooh, that looks like a TM. Oh! Well, we've already caught um, Goyrin on this path, so. Oh, look, another one! Pokemon! Let's go to, I feel like Tarth should be able to handle this Esper. Maybe, this is our first fight today. Go Tarth, you can do it. Be the best. Confusion! Oh boy, that hit a little hard, oh, come on. Come on, really? All right, um, I don't want to deal with that. You couldn't get away! Ugh, you creepy bear. How dare you? All right, well, we're just gonna have to kill you a lot harder than I was expecting. No one's gonna get much experience for this one, though. That's a bummer. Go, Axe, yay. Oh, we're actually, you know what? I said no one's gonna get experience except Axe. The highest level is probably going to get another level. Water Pulse. Throw some confusion its way. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy, serious special defense on this thing. Man, maybe Goyrin is going to be quite an addition to the team here. Boink. Alright. Yeah. You dead. Hooray! Extra level 19. What a fight it was. Truly memorable. In every aspect. Where is this item? Right here? Oh my gosh. I can't believe we already ran into something else. <gasps> The Haunt Edge. If only. If only we had grinded to the Haunt Edge. But we didn't. It's okay. We will survive. Chloe, go! Take this thing out. Hit it with fire. It's just a floating sword. Man, it's so cool. It's so cool. Everyone likes Haunt Edge, right? Yep. Mm hmm. Not very effective. Burn it with fire. Yay, we did it. 
Do -do -do -do. All I want to do is pick up the TM. Oh, it's not it's not a TM, it's a trainer. My goodness. I feel stupid now. Fletchling! Hey, we used to have a Fletchling on our team. But now we don't. Because we instead have Goyrin here. Hi, oh, it's all 14. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's go to Axe. This is almost where I wish the Fletching was like evolved because I wouldn't have the type advantage going. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Quick attack. Mm hmm. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Bring the axe. Water pulse this thing. This route does have significantly stronger Pokemon. I feel like it definitely like upped the difficulty from the last route, especially if you can't die at all. Going to level 12, yay! First level. Take that, backpack of Jerome. Well. What an interesting fight that all ended up being, huh? There we go. An antidote. Do, 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 do. All right, I want more trainer battles. Let's see if we can't find any more backpackers or items in this particular maze. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, this there looks like something right there, right? Yeah, okay. Think you can defeat a man at the peak of his happiness? Think again! Okay, dude. Like, chill out, though. A Volbeat? Boy, if there are Volbeats in this grass and we had caught that, that would have been disappointing. Pokemon, let's send out Tarth! You can take this thing out, right? You should just be able to gust this thing into an oblivion. I hope. Confuse Ray. Why do you keep getting confused, Tarth? <laughs> what is the deal? You can handle this. You got this. Gust. Mm hmm. It did like 10 damage. Not nothing. Let's see how Tarth handles the situation, though. Oh my gosh! What is with this Volbeat? Why is it so strong? Okay, well, now we're in low health, and we're confused, and the Volbeat has high defense, so... Sorry, Tarth, we're gonna switch out to your old buddy, Cloeo, here. Ba-boom! Yeah! You just, you just try and eat a berry. And you can heal?! What is this what, what, sense? Okay, okay, that's fine. Just, just Ember, though. Like, one shot, one kill, or not. Oh, you burned. Take that. Oh, you're full of all sorts of dumb tricks. I see. Confuse Ray. Oh, I'll really have his tackle, though. So, yeah. Confuse Ray, Moonlight, double team and tackle. Okay. Super effective. See ya. Volbeat dead. <laughs> Boom, dead. Ha. Tarth at level 16. And Tarth learned an amazing move, right? Nope. That would have been great, but it wasn't true. It wasn't wasn't to be. Thank you for the one thousand dollars. Do you know you could have gotten into the chateau with that, but it's cool. Let's go ahead and um hit hit old Tars with that super potion. And we might as well hit Axe as well, because why risk anything ever? That's my motto. Oh, hi. What have you got? You look like you're an artist. I'm determined to see everything Kalos has to offer. Come on, bring out your Pokemon. Okay. You asked for it. You were challenged by Taurus and Marie. Set out Illumise. Oh, okay. The other half of this duo. See, I'm almost surprised those two weren't like a double battle. We're just going to switch it out. Do you think she's going to pull the same move that the other guy did with the Confuse Ray? I kind of feel like yes, but we'll see. We're going to go to Tarth again, now that we're a little bit more full on health. And a whole another level higher. Charm? This is just going to lower my regular attack though, right? And we're just going to be Gust, so it shouldn't really matter. Here we go. Gust! Oh. Oh. That's a fairy type attack, right? Oh. It's, you know, it's just more... Why would you use that when you have the other one? It's super effective. Okay. So we can't hit it with any physical attacks, because that's going to do just nothing now that we've been lowered times four. 
could have been times six by now, but that's cool if this guy, if this girl doesn't know how uh, charm works versus play nice. Oh, you sneak. I see how you play. Hasn't launched any attacks yet, but honestly, if she just keeps moonlighting, we're not going to be able to overcome it. She's going to have to try and attack us at some point. Ugh. Well, that's frustrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're hilarious. But you can't win the fight like that, right? <laughs> How long are we gonna be here? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Why? I hate this route. All the Pokemon on this route are so dumb. Uh, here we go. You can't do this all day. You gotta try and tackle at some point. There we go. Waste your turn. How are we not faster, either? Come on, Tarth. Get that crit. Get that crit. I would just use, oh. And lowers my evasiveness, is that what that does? Now you can really hit me with those charms. Except now you're dead, so. See ya. Wow. Tarth, we gotta work on some of your, uh... oh, there it is. Going to level 13. Light screen. We have so many defenders on this team. What could we get rid of? Uh, what does Covet do? The user endearingly approaches the dark and says, Oh! No, that seems good. It's just like Steel. Uh, it seems better than Leer, anyway, because it works for the whole team. Well, I don't mind having lots of defense on the team. That's fine with me, especially if she can also deal it out. Or, she? He? What's going on? Hmm? Huh? We should check that real quick. Da, da, da. Where you at, Goyrin? Oh, okay, ah, there we go. Yeah, she, that's what I thought. Especially if she can also dole out the damage. Oh, see, I feel like the way they've set this grass up is so that you think there must be something we can get. An item over here. Oh, it's another Esper. Go, Goyrin. You can do it. Uh... Can you? Can do. Quick switch. Go, Chloe. I just knock this thing out. <clears throat> the quicker we can get some levels, the better. We're gonna fight these random wilds here. Too nervous to eat very. Oh, covet. Oh. oh, did you steal my item? Maybe it didn't. Looks like it did not, even though it should have, because we are you having a berry. Maybe it can't because it's too nervous to eat berries. That'd be hilarious if that's actually working against Covet. Lear! <sighs> and Ember. Here we go. Bam. You've been knocked out. Esper is like one of the weirdest looking Pokemon. It's just, just staring at you all the time. Boy, this grass, high encounter rate. Oh, Oddish. Let's see if Goyrin can take this thing out on its own. Confusion! Oh, yes! That was excellent. Didn't take that much damage either. Okay, great. Confusion, and we're gonna get a level out of this. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. The Oddish actually really does look like the grass we're walking into. That is a, that's a nice touch. You might literally just stumble into one. Ooh, Paralyze Heal. Okay, not exactly what we were hoping for, but okay. I feel like there is a really good TM. Oh, Sneaky. Today's the day I begin my path to becoming a champion. I'll start things off by defeating you. If you say so, you can try. Youngster Jacobs and a Krogonk. We should be pretty well off against this guy, actually, even with just Goyrin here. Shuddered? What does that mean? Confusion? How about you're dead? Because you should be like four times weak to that, right? Yeah! A crit! Well done, Goyrin. Level? Level? No wow. Very not a lot 
of damage. Also, we're gonna switch to Chloeo for the bee drill because suddenly we're weak. <laughs> but now we are mighty. Go, Chloeo. Maybe they'll both get a level out of this. Don't you eat those berries. Chloeo hates it when people eat berries. Except herself. Okay, hilarious. Four times. Boy, more than I would have uh, liked. Oh, we almost had the one shot. Two times done, right? Oh, look at that. Something you can't do, Beedrill. Oh, and it did only hit us two times. That's amazing. <laughs> I was just totally guessing. But now you're dead. Awesome. That was a good fight. All around. All around. Great. Great fight. That's how I like fights to go. Easy. We have the advantage the whole time. Yay, Chloe, level 20. Takedown? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say no. Keep old moves, because headbutt is better than takedown. And uh, we don't like recoil damage. No, we don't. Look at that. Goyren immediately climbing the charts. Already level 15. Amazing. Well done. Well done, Goyren. Let's see. I feel like there's a TM. I did. There's like, there's like a po There's like a really good poison type attack. Right around here, I am like positive of it. It's like Sludge Wave or something. We can't, we can't miss it. I know that. Ugh. Maybe we should like throw a repel just so we can go looking though. We're gonna not touch anything. Okay. Uh, here we go. There. That. Do you see it? What is this? I feel like this is a very good Venom shock. That's what it is. Okay. Yes. That is what we want. Let's go ahead and immediately teach that to halt. Venom shock. Yes. Use. Boom. Boot up to you. It could do Venom shock. Yes. We're gonna teach that to you. I feel like we should probably just get rid of poison powder because we already have leech seed and sleep powder is pretty effective. So there you go. Forget for now. I think we're gonna get way more use out of that. Yay, Venno Shock. And then we also have, do we have the Poison Barb? Yeah, now we can give that to Halt. Yes. Excellent. Okay, we are well on our way. And whoosh, oh my gosh. It's a new day. We had a quick break from recording, but we are back. I think we have successfully made it to the end of this route. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. Uh, which means we are going to head down to Route 6 real quick. And the final thing we're going to try and do today is catch us a Snorlax. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We've had a Snorlax. I haven't had a Snorlax on the team since uh, the Fire Red playthrough. It has been some time. It has been some time. The question is, what is our best play to get the Snorlax? Um, so we obviously have... My thought is it's probably pretty strong, so I kind of want to throw a reflect up with mats here first. Uh, and then halt seems like the way to go just because sleep powder. Uh, if we let it, if we, the thing about Snorlaxes is they have rest, which makes um, other uh, conditions, you get, like if you try and paralyze them, they'll just rest it off and they'll heal again. So halt could be good. We also have leech seed, which would be nice. It'd probably keep us alive a little bit longer, but we then risk killing it if he doesn't rest which i don't see as being a huge problem that's sort of my thought also we do have uh let's see we have sand attack here on tarth so if there's going to be a long battle we can try and get tarth out there to um at least make it so that we're not being hit very often right that's sort of my thoughts otherwise we're going to send out halt he goes there and uh, we will try and put it to sleep in a non-restful way. That is going to be our strategy. Here we go. Oh, my cauliflower. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the poker flute? Uh, I mean, yes, borrow is really the wrong word. I'll play the flute, but are you ready to stop it? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's catch this thing. All right, this is our first encounter for this route. So 
Uh, here we go. We're gonna try and catch it. We have to, really. Oh, oh he is mighty. He is mighty. Oh, he's level 15. Okay, so pretty solid there. We're gonna throw up. Lay reflect real quick. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Thank you, Matt. Oh, he's got tricks. Now I really think we should leech seed him because he's gonna be hard to hit. We're gonna throw up a switch here. Uh, let's go to Tarth and go ahead and just knock some of these sand attacks out. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long fight. Possibly. Defense curl. Oh god. Is he gonna have like roll out or something? That would be so annoying. Here we go. Sand attack. Fwish. Yeah. You got nothing, friend. Amnesia. Oh my gosh. We are gonna have to leech seed this guy, and it's gonna take forever. Sand attack. We're gonna get three of these on there. That should be pretty solid. Oh my gosh, his his stats are so high. This is going to take forever. Sand attack. Okay. Well, most of his stats are high. Our reflect is just going to straight up wear off at this point. That's annoying. That was sort of a wasted move. Def yeah, our team's reflect wore off. Uh-huh. I don't think there's much you can do to him, Tarth. We're going to switch right on out to Halt. Sorry about this mass. I guess your reflect was in vain. But we got this. All the protection in the world can't save you from leech seed, my friend. No, it cannot. Mm-hmm. There you go. You've been seeded. We're making a risky move here. Because, oh gosh, it really is risky. <clears throat> oh my gosh, he doesn't even have... All he has is tackle. Tackle and lick. So he's not, like, super duper powerful by any means. <clears throat> Let's try a Venno Shock here see how this does it's probably not going to do very much because he's oh boy oh my gosh see do you see the problem do you see how strong he is that's pretty that's not that's not nothing that's with tackle you know that's not um that's like the worst normal move in the game and that's what he did to us so let's uh we oh boy oh boy Let's go for Levine Whip. I, this might have been a weird strategy. He doesn't even have rest. Uh, I feel stupid. Snorlax always has rest. That's like his whole thing is sleeping. We could have done something else. We could have done something else. Oh, we had a berry. What do you have? I should have tried to thief it away from you. You had a citrus berry. Yeah, we got health back too. Snorlax. Uh, we're gonna. We're just gonna have to go for the Vine Whip here. Well, that did nothing. Well, otherwise our strategy seems to be working. Boy, look how much damage Leech Deed is doing. Let's throw a sleep powder on this thing. Yeah. You'd almost think Snorlax would be some weird exception to this, wouldn't you? Like, that if you put Snorlax to sleep, he just gains health back. Or, like, uh, is immune to other effects or something. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm getting nervous. Now, okay. The leech seed will kill him. Oh boy. We're just going to have to go start hucking great balls at him. Whilst we have the opportunity. We sh maybe shouldn't have leech seeded. Could it be? Oh! Oh! Just like that! Never mind. Okay. Everything was great. We made all the right decisions. We're awesome at this. And everyone grew, grew a level. Level 17. Tarth, you wouldn't be cool enough to get two levels oh whirlwind uh, I, uh, should we is it i don't uh, is it, uh, uh, i guess there's i'll get rid of tackle just because there's literally no reason to have tackle when you have quick attack but there you go whirlwind i don't i don't really see us using that probably ever how did matt's not get a level off of that come on 405 eats over 880 pounds of food every day you think i'm gonna carry that on my back every day i don't think so you can walk dude oh uh, yeah we need a nickname for ye old snorlaxington here mm -hmm. hold on a sec hold on a sec 
<laughs> okay, this one just feels too obvious not to make it a Snorlax name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the person's name was Fatterhorner, but we're going with Fatterhorn as in like the Matterhorn. Okay, that's that's pretty fun. I like that. Welcome Fatterhorn to the team. Or not to the team, but to the uh to the box anyway. There we go. Oh boy. So now we have a big question. Um one, should we add Fatterhorn to, yeah, oh, hi, what's happening here? Oh, it's a fur frow, everyone's favorite thing in the world said, not me. Oh, nope, uh-huh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Did you, are you taking that flute back? No, did we, did we get it? What's happening? Did you take it? Did we get it? Can I? What was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. Yes, me too. Anyway, the question shall become now, uh, what should we add Fatterhorn to the team? And if so, who should go to the box? What? I, I already feel like we have such a very difficult decision to make regarding this uh snorlax seems like such an amazing obvious option to put on the team because he's so bulky that he could protect other team members but everyone else seems so awesome at the same time i mean i know i know you guys are gonna say like but what about mats uh, and actually some of you guys have been championing mats uh pretty hard down in the comments and i have to say having learned light screen and reflect i am uh, pretty happy to keep mats around on the team. Although Goyra did learn line screen as well. Maybe, okay, maybe, maybe Tarth? Uh, although one level away from Pidgeotto. Goyrin, we've had that psychic ability. That's pretty good. And then it feels like Chloe, Halt, and Axe are really, uh, really the, the current powerhouses of the, there. I think Mats is gonna, see the, mm, it's good to deal with the psychic stuff. Uh, he'll get... He'll get Silverwind pretty early on. There's that. Mm, okay, well, let me know in the comments down below. Who should we keep on the team? Uh, who should we switch out for Fatterhorn if we should even bring him on? Which I think pretty obviously we should. Uh, so let me know. Tile section down below. Who should make the swap? And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for uh, watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, if you want to have a Pokemon named after you, you need to leave a comment down below. That's where we get all of the names from. Uh, I can't believe we're... I don't even think we're close to the second gym. This game is such weird pacing, I tell you. Like, we're... Whatever. Anyway, we're going to head down and go through a cave, I think, in the next episode where maybe we can catch a Dragon-type Pokemon. That would be super exciting. Uh, but until then, bye!